Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. And as I find another 3 out of 10 uh, Sasha Command Relay, I think in this video I want to answer the question that I keep getting whenever I, uh, I, I make a video in the Ishtar. Um, how do I switch targets without... Um, there we go, let's press F. Without actually clicking on them. And uh, the answer for that is that there is a shortcut that you can set in the shortcuts in the navigation tab. So first of all, oh damn, that's actually a mistake. We don't want to go on the Black Ops Commander. So we'll, we'll quickly do the site. It is definitely uh, something that you should do because it's way more efficient than anything else that you can do when it comes to uh, cycling through targets. I just press D. Uh, I set uh, the set next, select next target. Uh, shortcuts on the D button and so I can just um, switch from target to target pressing D. You can also go for select previous button but I find that since you can only in general target five six um, targets at a time it's okay to just cycle through them in a single direction by pressing D uh, so or one key of your preference of course. So let's go after this guy as well let's do this uh, there's another one at 19. Come on, blab this guy at 20, please. Alright, blab this guy at 25 then. And I will switch. There we go. Return to drone bay. Take out my small drones. Take care of those guys here first. We'll slowly head towards the gate and so the shortcut is right here, you go to the ex uh, escape menu, then you go to shortcuts, so 1, 2, 3, 4, the 5th tab, then here you want the navigation tab, which is the 4th tab, and then down here you can find select next target, select previous target, uh, I set the select next target to a D, and then you just go from one to the next, to the next, to the next, which is really cool of course. Um, another shortcut, oh, let's actually approach this guy and pick up the loot. Obviously, I also have the tracking uh, on so that uh, the camera always points towards that which I have selected. And he drops nothing. No, that's a Sinti small wreck. Okay, that's weird. Normally, ah, here is the overseer. All right, let's head for that one. And the tracking camera, I think, is in combat. Let's take a look. Yeah, there we go. Toggle auto tracking with the uh, control shift C. You can also press C for tracking uh, itself, but I prefer to just toggle the auto tracking, which means that whenever, as I overshoot the wreck, I bet. Let's open this up. As I select other things on the overview, the camera is just going to keep uh, going for those. Very handy setting and uh, I, I absolutely do I uh, think it's crucial that you know about these shortcuts, especially when you use a drone ship and you're trying to do something like missioning, something like exploration sites, combat exploration sites pretty efficiently. That's when you want these, uh, these shortcuts enabled and you want to be able to use them. Of course, you can also use F to uh, have your, uh, your drones engage, but when it comes to the Ishtar in these types of sites, as you can see, uh, I tend to just go for one sentry on a single target. So, second room. Let's see if I can do this one efficiently. Uh, I should really drop the guards. And then, so I just uh, go for engage target. With D, I switch to another frigate. Engage target. Engage target. Engage target. Very smooth, very efficient. Then just hope that they have enough tracking. Uh, at 30, 35 kilometers, they basically still have to, uh, they burn straight to you. That's actually the the, the problem that they have, is that uh, these little guys tend to just burn straight to you. Let's put all of them on a heavy missile battery. Hopefully we can get at least one volley off. And we just start selecting the rest of them. There's the commander. We can go after a couple more of these frigates. That looks good. After these are done, we'll go for another heavy missile battery. And while they first volley there, I start going after a couple of those frigates again. There we go. Blap. And again, so I can just press D. Now I'm looking at the sentry gun. Here I'm looking at the commander. And now I'm looking at the other sentry gun. And there is the frigate that will be blown up in just a second. 
That guy is down as well. We can quickly take care of these two sentry, sentry guns. Should be good. Yeah, there we go. And all of that with minimal effort, minimal clicking. Really, really good. Almost one shot that one. Return, approach the loot piñata. And let's hope that I can actually grab this one and that it uh, drops something. Because I've not been very lucky lately uh, with, um, with the loot drops. Uh, why do I have this useless little laser here on the Ishtar? Uh, it's actually to draw attention a little bit. If sometimes it might be useful to draw attention from long range. Even if you can't hit anything, if you shoot them with the, um, with the laser, you tend to attract their attention. So there we go. He's down. We are grabbing that final loot box. And let's hope it's a good one. And this is how I try to run my combat sites. Ah, another empty one. Man, I'm really unlucky with, uh, with these uh, exploration runs here lately. So we'll see if all of that works out a little bit better. But again, the aim of this video, a lot of people keep asking whenever they see me run a site like this with Ishtar, how do I select different targets without uh, actually clicking on them? So it's in the shortcuts, you go for navigation, you look for select next target or select previous target. Set those shortcuts and there you go. You're browsing between your selected targets without having to click on them. A very handy shortcut. Highly recommended for people that uh, go after a lot of targets with ratting, missioning, uh, exploration in combat sites and things like that. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.